Hi, welcome to the SCM Technologist. For more videos on the SCM related, especially for the Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management, please subscribe for the SCM Technologist YouTube channel. If anybody want for the training, support, or queries regarding for the jobs or anything, please reach out to these members. So today, I want to show you one more important functionality. Functionality approvals. How we can enable the sales order approvals. Okay, how we can enable the sales order approvals. If you open this, if you open this order management, so under order management, if you click on this, if you click on this, if any sales order having order uh, approvals needs to be required, then, then we can enable the sales order approvals parameters. Okay, at the time of submitting, at the time of submitting, this order approvals are coming into the picture. So how to activate the sales orders approvals? Let's see. So in this video, you can see complete end-to-end -end setup of the approvals. So go to the order management. So orders, click on all tasks. So from the manage order management parameters level, you need to enable that orders need to be a approvals. Okay. So basically the business scenario for the order related approvals is um, something they want to be validated before going to submitting the sales orders, the manager levels or some other people's are needs to be validated. Then, so we need to make a approvals on this. Okay. Here, start approval process for sales order level. See, up to now, for all the sources order types, see, basically, the sales orders coming from the different sources. If uh, you have a specific sources, like uh, the sales order is coming from the EBS, sales order is coming from the SAP or healthcare, any other integrated uh, tools, the sales order is coming to the application, then what needs to be the approval process okay if you want to click on start then then system is ready to uh, start for the sales order approvals okay see enabling for this parameter is not be enough so you need to provide uh, rules for this okay rules for this where we need to provide the rules for the sales order approval rules there is a setup called manage order approval rules if you click on this if you click on this okay here there is a rules sales order total so this so there is a rule if you want to create your rule just click on this click on this okay so new the condition so what is the condition if business unit so business unit header level is equal to US one business unit US one business unit. So who is the approver for this? Who is the approver? Then click on here and do it. So who is the business? So perform an action immediately set. So so here I am taking for one assigned to individual. Okay. So who is the approval required? So here, if I want to take it for the specific worker, so that goes. See, for example, so I'm giving for this person. Let's Sales, save and close. Okay. So the new rule is for this. Okay. Click on this. Click on active rule and save. Okay. Publish it. So there is a one more rule. Maybe if you disable this, just click on 
they activate and publish it. Now let's go and create one sales order. How the system is behaving, either approvals are triggering or not. So this is the process how to create a sales order approvals in order management. See, there is a price related price segment and price is not be defined yet. Okay. So <clears throat> let's take any. So this type of issues, if anywhere anything is there, how to rectify, we will we'll discuss one session. Okay. So I'm giving for this item. I'm taking one seeded item. Okay, click on this. Now price segment and price list is coming based on the customer profile. Okay, so that is the reason whenever we enter that, this price is coming into the pictures. Now, now click on validate and submit. So once you submitted, once you submitted, the order is processing to the approvals. Okay. Submit. Now you can see pending approval. Pending approval. Once you refresh it and the person is getting the notification. So up to now, this is in the locked status. You cannot see the view fulfillment lines at the time of approval process level. Okay. So once, so we will get a notification. So now you can see who is the approver for here. So you can see the approval workflow. The approvers is for this. Okay. He is getting the notification. Okay. Just click on here and click on notifications. If this is the person, now you can see. So this is the way how we can do it for the approvals in sales order level. So once it is approved, you can see, we can see now it is processing. You can see fulfillment view. Okay. This is the way how we can triggering for the approvals in sales order levels. Thank you.